Hi, I'm Steve Mathis. Welcome to the Pulp MX Classic Commentary. The race I have selected is 96 Orlando Supercross, and I'm here with... David Pingree. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're here. Thanks, Ping, for doing this with us. Yeah, 96 was... Uh, this was back when the whole series started on the East Coast. Um, Orlando was the season opener. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Fact yeah, how checked. weird would that have been? Like, just kind of pretty weird, we you know. Now. Yeah, because now you think it, it's just logical to start out here. It makes more sense for most of the teams and manufacturers that are based out of here. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, back to Orlando. There's Mikel Pashon. Uh, Mitch let him wear JT gear. Yeah, very bizarre. Mm -hmm. uh, your teammate and Oakley goggles. That was a big deal. Oh yeah, Scott. Yeah, yeah you were Scott. Yep. Um, what was Pashon? Look at Tim Ferry. Oh my gosh, oh. you just peed your pants. I did. Um, what was Pashon like as a teammate? Um, you know, he was actually all right. Did you I, talk to him? I, yeah, I try. He didn't speak a lot of English, but he was, yeah, he was a good dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's John Dowd. We saw a shot of John Dowd. Uh, we have, um, Stevie Herman on there, which is, uh, the great Stevie Herman from Pennsylvania. You know, I don't know who 115 is, BSY Yamaha. Randy Lawrence still makes fun of me, uh, at a race I didn't ride well at at Unadilla because mm -hmm. I was battling with Stevie Herman. <laughs> he'll, you go up and say something to him, he'll yeah, still yeah. laugh at me. And that's know? still, uh, uh, 25 is uh, Deegan, I believe. Don't you yep. Oh, yeah. The general. The general. Your the buddy. General. I wonder if he set this race up like he set up the golf course ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fixed, man. Uh, yeah, this was also to the Chaparral year where the Larry made them all ride different bikes. One guy rode a Suzuki. Brandis rode a Honda. Deegan rode – or maybe Deegan yeah. rode the Honda. I don't know. You know what's really good about that is it makes testing easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's your bike. Completely, <laughs> completely different from yours. <laughs> Parts ordering, really easy. Real simple. <laughs> Here, uh, fans are going nuts here in Orlando for the opening. This is the main event, by the way. We skipped the heat race. Who's on the Yamaha? Is that Dowdy? Dowdy. Yeah. John Dowd. Yeah. Because uh, Kevin was 30, riding the Yamaha 32 year on the old West John Dowd at this time, yeah. <laughs> or something like that. Well, I remember his teammate was Kevin Windham riding the 125 on the other coast, and that's, that's kind of who I had to race against. Right. 96 yeah. for you, though. Yeah. Started off good. Yeah. I was riding better than I've probably ever ridden, and then I broke my femur. So, good times. Yeah, good times. That no, wasn't a good year. Uh, there's Corey Keeney, 39, PJ1 team, which I would go later on to work for Keeney. Who's this on the Suzuki? Oh. I don't know. The, mo the general did not get the jump. No. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> what just De happened? Deegan just went off the side of a jump. Deegan uh, got his freestyle career started early. Pishon with the whole shot, uh, defending champion, obviously with the number one plate. And uh, I always think it's funny with these old supercosses because there's a lot of trash on the track. Well, yeah, plastic wrappers and yeah. Well, do you remember hobo the, jackets? The dirt back in Dallas used to be just littered with plastic bits. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're right. Look at all that crap. Yeah, just look at it. Oh, Keeney got a good start. Thirty one. You know who that would is be? Is that Barry? That would be Bear Dog. Big Boar Barry Carson. <laughs> that is a one fifty five, folks. <laughs> There's no at doubt. At least with a, with a stock muffler <laughs> and a stock pipe, pipe and silencer. Oh man. Oh, good times. The, the whoop section's super long, but. Uh, who knew Bear Dog could cut it loose like this? <sighs> if I had told you that Barry Carson once ran second in the 125 main, because he was second there briefly, would you have believed me? Yeah, I would. Oh. It's easy to pull a hole shot when you're riding a big boar. Come on, now, really? Seriously? I, dude, that guy went by me at Red Bud. I was on a pro circuit bike. He passed me with a stock exhaust pipe <laughs> down a straightaway, deeply <laughs> tilled. I'm sorry. And he probably weighed 15 pounds more than I did. And, oh, look at that triple. Oh. Oh, Ferry who is that? Ferry. Oh, that's your guy. That's Tim Ferry. Yep. Here he comes. Number 20, JT Gear. Um, one of the last JT athletes ever, by the so way. So was this the year he won the title? No, 97, next oh, year. Oh, all right. I believe uh, Bashan wins the title this year. This yeah, is the opener. Does. So yeah, you right. Look at that whoop section, though. Like, very long. Who's on the Suzuki behind him? Nathan Ramsey? I don't know. I, I watched this be. a while ago. Uh, Ramsey would have been 47 in 96. Uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like him, but. Anyway, yeah, this this uh, bike Pashon was riding. There was a big, big kind of meeting we had with Mitch because the year prior, '95, Rhino did all the testing on the bike, and it really wasn't that good. It, <laughs> it made like all this horsepower, this peak horsepower, but you had to rev it to the moon to ride it. Rhino was the only guy that could ride it. <laughs> Rhino loved it. Yeah, he loved it, and the rest <laughs> of us hated it. We really right. just weren't feeling it at all. So in '96, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I actually did all the testing for this bike with Pashon. And uh, it was it was good, much yeah. much better. Um, 
P.J. Well, there's Corey Keeney. I would go on to work for him later this year. He fired me because after a 17-hour drive, I didn't paint his frame. What a doucher. Yeah, he fired. I was not, uh, not very pumped. That, was that a, is Nathan Ramsey. That team right there, the P.J. One Extreme Yamaha team. Yes. Uh, it was only around for what, two years One maybe? Year. One year. One and done. One and done. By the end of the summer at the Nationals, <laughs> everyone was owed money, and the truck went back to the team owner's place. And somebody came and pillaged all the parts and gear out of it because they owe, they were owed money by the team owner. They broke in and stole everything. Yikes. So, like a lot of teams, didn't work out. But, uh. Well, it did give Button a place to go that year. and Yeah, I didn't Kalos. realize that Button was a mate so far. Button really, that was his team kind of. He organized a lot of that, according yeah. to him, anyways. Well, it was, it was funded by Alex and Dave McKellie, actually, who... Alex owns Red Baron Racing now, uh, the mini bike company. Yep. And that was kind of, they're the ones that ran it, really. But Jimmy put a lot of the stuff together because he had all the contacts. Right, all the connections. Yep. Ramsey just got by And Jimmy he was there. married to PJ Harvey's daughter, the owner of PJ1 at one point. So Jimmy was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ramsey's on the move right now. What do you remember about it? Was Bundy working for him then? Yeah. Like when they were privateers, just from Tennessee. Yep. Straight to, out of to Tennessee. Hillbillies. Yep. And, and Bundy was working for him? The next year, he got a factory Suzuki ride, right? I don't know. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Factory? Or maybe this was the year, actually. Oh. 97. What year is this? No, I think it was, it was 97. He got the factory Suzuki ride in 97. Yep. Okay. Um, so you were pretty pumped on the Cowies this year? Like, yeah, they were good. Were, you they were pretty testing. good. Yep. <laughs> what about the Chrome? I like the Chrome. Yeah, the chrome was good until you crashed, and then it cracked into like nine billion pieces. <laughs> but it looked good. Uh, yeah, your, your guys' look up, your guys' look uh, was strong for sure. Pishon's out front; he's the motoring. I don't know how Mitch let him wear JT gear and Oakley goggles. I, I have no idea. <sighs> Two people have flaunted Mitch's rules: Ricky Carmichael and, and Pishon. Pishon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I think back then it was just Mitch was looking for guys that could win championships. Mikhail was like. Yeah. The guy. And he already had a contract with him. Like, that was just it. Yeah. And I'd like to, I'd like to re, let's do the conversation where I'm you and you're Mitch. Okay. Um, hey, Mitch, uh, I've got a deal with Arnett Goggles that I really, I mean, it's $30,000. I need to do this. Look, do you want to win races or not? Because I do, I do want to win races, but I've got come this to contract. our team. That's, hey, then go, you know what? Have Arnett buy you bikes and go run their race team. Do they have a race team? They don't ride for them. Team. Well, then if you want to ride for me, you wear my goggles. That's how it would have went? Yeah, that's pretty okay. much how it goes. All right. Um, Bear Dog is getting eaten up here. Uh, right, just, a, just a side note. The very next year, 97 Orlando, Bear Dog would jump on me coming out of the first turn. <laughs> and In this stadium? Separate my shoulder in this very stadium, yep. <laughs> I wonder why you're a little bitter towards Bear Dog. <laughs> you know, he's a privateer hero. Well, he pulled the whole shot on his stock, air quotes, <laughs> Suzuki, and I cut under him, right. and he jumped from the right side of the track to the left where I was and landed on my head. Thank you, it? sir. That was the end of it. I was out. That was the night everybody – that was the night Albertine got all jiggy and broke his tailbone. Al Pedersen broke his wrist. Swimp broke his arm. Yep. It was like a party in the ER. Um, and we all got prescribed Tylox, <laughs> which was a, a narcotic that you can't even get in California. It was amazing. Um, Still looking for more of that, by the way. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> uh, here's it makes Suzuki morphine look like baby ass. Suzuki freight train right here. Oh, and there's Chad Watts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and Marty Sorry. Reed, who's wearing a nice jacket. Bear Dog, he's got just got passed by America's hero, Tim Ferry. Um, Ferry. But, but his bike's about to go back by him. Watch this. <laughs> That's a long whoop section. It is long. Holy They're crap. small, They're too. Small, They're just like little. Um, side note, Orlando 97, Albie, fifth place in the semi, breaks his tailbone, gives the main event slot to young Ty Birdwell, tuned by me. <laughs> Thank you, Albie. <laughs> Thank you, Albie, um, for your wild riding well, style. What did you think of Red Dog back then? Like, what did you think? Of, like, you didn't know him. He's a Florida guy, but... Was he rock star um, at all? Like, was he... I just honestly didn't know him at all. Uh-huh. Because, uh, you know, everybody I, knows everything a little bit about each other. I didn't like him that much. Like, we didn't really probably like each other because of a deal that happened at Loretta's a long, long time ago. Mm. He was buddies with a yes. guy named Andrew Despain, and we got into it, and I took him out, and... <laughs> but wait a minute Timmy here. was, you know, cussing Tim, me out. Wait a minute here. 
you denied everything until Rita Coombs pulled you in and showed you video of you taking Andrew out. That's right. And you went, all right. Okay, I did it. <laughs> uh, well, but see what they didn't have on uh, video was him, you know, messing with me for two laps before that. What was the punishment? I got docked five positions. I lost the championship because of that. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. I really did. Yeah, uh, Red Dog did tell me that story. Um, but, I mean, obviously that's um, Andrew that's just, way over has it. since effed over Timmy a long time ago. Really? And they are no well, good. Timmy should probably come over and slap me high five. <laughs> tell him I'll be waiting the next race I see him. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> this is a long whoop section. Like, I right, keep tripping see? out on yeah. how many jumps he's got to get going to get through here. Right. It was like a nine jump set of whoops. Hopping yeah, nobody's there. skimming those. And later on in the 250 main, we're going to see somebody take a look. Now, ride. now, did you? I want you to notice, too, how much run there was at that triple. Yeah. This is something that's really changed since everything went four stroke because you don't need that much room anymore. No, no. I mean, no. look at this. There's like 100 yards, the length of a football field. That's yeah, so 125 much, can you're grab grabbing, third gear. Right here you're grabbing gears coming out of there. <laughs> yeah. Well, we talked about this before. I mean, you couldn't jump all the triples. No. And it was totally fine. Nobody was mocking you. You know, the, no. the top riders couldn't jump all the triples. 125 class. No, it was super standard. There'd right. be one that was kind of easy and one that was marginal. You know, mm -hmm. like sometimes all the guys would do it. Sometimes I remember one um, this same season on the West Coast, Seattle, 96 Seattle. There was a triple that Wyndham was the only guy doing it. Right. And yeah. um, we hadn't really kind of, he and I hadn't really gone head to head yet, but he was the guy I knew I was going to have to race for the championship. He was leading. I was second after three rounds, I think. And I was Seattle. I was going to beat him. Like right. I just, that was it. Yeah. I'm beating him. And he kept jumping this triple and, and I what, couldn't And what do are you going to do? Like what? I, I literally, I came in after the race, handed my bike to Kenny Germain, my mechanic at the time, walked out into the, out of the stadium, into the tunnel and started kicking a trash can. I was so mad. <laughs> I understand how you couldn't jump a triple, though. Yeah, Mitch knew what Dude, he was doing with bikes. I'm telling you, it was and just shitty and, yeah. soft, deep dirt, right. and you had to get third. Second wouldn't do it, and it was right out of a corner. I don't know. I just I don't yeah, know yeah, how yeah. Kevin did it. Yeah, you know, just yeah. so smooth through his turns. Right. And, um, you know. Not not a lot of action in this 125 main. Pashawn's pretty much dominating the opener. He's got a number one plate for <laughs> not, a reason, folks. Not exactly a barn burner. Here comes the junkyard dog, though. I believe he's going to get uh, – I believe he's going to get Tim Ferry here. Uh, probably I, Ferry was told me back in the day not a lot of working out, not a lot of really exercising back in the day mm. when he was Suzuki guy. That's pretty much the opposite of the junkyard dog. Yeah, I mean, right now look at who's just now getting warmed up. Like that's see you later, right? Basically, Red Dog's hanging on for dear life. Yeah, he's already pumped up, and also he didn't like these bikes at all. Oh, no? No, did not like the 96. Who, who was Zucas. the guy that he used to do all his bikes back there? R RPM? RRP? RRP was before. This was Factory Suzuki. Yeah, I know. But yeah, yeah, RRP. Maybe, he needed, maybe he needed Rosini <laughs> racing products. Rosini. Uh, Rossini. Whatever. I didn't know what Rosini. it was. Rosini. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Karsten, though. Bear dog. Putting the 165 up top. <laughs> he just gained DC. Yeah, I'm going to keep giving him more CCs every time um, I see him. Uh, and He's about to swallow up. Oh, no, that's Ramsey. Yeah. Uh, he might get Red Dog by the end here. I don't know. Um, at this time, Nathan and Timmy were living together off the 91. Not a lot of training going on again. Really? Yeah. No, not at all. And there's Muffin. Brian Barry once wanted to fight me in the mechanics area. Yeah? Yeah. One time. Nick Way, that, I believe. That would be not indicated if I was you. <laughs> no. He would destroy you. <laughs> yeah. You, He's like much. eight feet tall. Yeah. Big man, mm. big man. Uh, one of the one of the funny guys in the circuit back in the is day. Is he still doing? Uh, no, the activate trailer. No, no. He's out. What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. I think, he's, mm. I think him and Kenny Jermaine, your old mechanic, are in business together. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's the junkyard dog doing these days? Um, just saw him watching Doug Henry's house burn down <laughs> back in Connecticut. <laughs> hey, look at those lights! <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> fire! It's a bonfire. Uh, <laughs> anyways, Pashawn's taking off. Um, this kid could ride, man. Look, he does look good, huh? Looks smooth. Just stood up everywhere. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Rhino didn't like Bichon. Oh. I mean, just and going out on a, a limb. That's a shocker, right? <laughs> didn't like the French. Rhino didn't like anybody. Right. But, yeah, particularly not. The thing about Mikhail, I remember, he was always really nice, nice to me. I never had any issues with him, but his dad was nuts. Crazy. Like, you saw it firsthand? I mean, we all know the rental car incident in Honda, like at Honda. No, they literally, like, one time he was, caught, he was picked up by the police because he was lost, uh, and he didn't speak any English, and he was hopped up on some type of pain pills or pills, something, walking down the side of the 91 freeway. 
like sweep, like swerving into lanes on his foot. And it was Bashan's dad. And it was his dad. <laughs> <laughs> and the only place he knew how to get to was Pro Circuit. So they took him to Mitch. And said, hey, there's this guy that's speaking uh, Do you English. know this guy? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I know him. Sun rides for me. Yeah. Um, well, that's a bizarre story. Yeah. I uh, just did a podcast with John Gregory from JT. Said this chest protector lost a lot of money on. Oh, yeah? Yep. Not one of his favorite products that he developed. So a little FYI tidbit there for you. What do you think about JT coming back? What's your uh, thoughts? I like it. I love it. I just wonder. Pashawn wins it. Dowd comes from 38th to second? Yeah, because he got Timmy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did you just see him get all sideways right there? <laughs> I did. Radical. So uh, rad. And as we do this, we're in your garage, and that bike Dow's riding is not far off of the bike that's 20 feet away from here. Yeah. Oh, YZ125. Got a brand new YZ125 sitting here. Uh, aluminum frame, but I would say, dare say mm. the motor wasn't a whole Pretty lot close. Different. Yeah. Those bikes were really good back then. They were. They were, yeah. Um, what? The Citrus Bowl. You see, and when I was thinking about races to do for you, I didn't know you ever even rode East. But the next year, you rode 125 East. I did. 97. Um, I can't remember why I did. But Look at that. Maybe Mitch just told me I was going to. <laughs> That's how it that happens. Yeah, I don't remember. but um, And I actually, because I had a broken femur in 96, it might have been to give me some more time. Oh, Look at yeah. Bones. Look how young Bones looks. Oh, yeah. Bones there with the hat and the glasses on. Michelle's got the – Pichon's got the uh, – Lloyd Christmas bowl haircut going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ferry third, Ramsey. Look at that Suzuki three four five. Barry Karsten on the one seventy five. <laughs> nice. Um, at, at this time, Bear Dog was old. Like yeah. at this time, yeah. John Dow was old too, though. Yeah. When John Dow went to the one twenty five class, there was a lot of right racers upset because he had ridden two fifties and done well in them, and they were like, "He doesn't belong in this class. We're all just idiot kids." Do you, do you remember any of that I talk? I do, and yep. Like, what did you think of that? Well, the, the, the controversy was because there wasn't a whole lot of rides available, and he just took one of the good ones. Mm-hmm. So that's what everyone was bummed about, you know. But not, not doubt himself, because no. how could you be mad at that? No, nah, you can't. Although he was a little um, aggressive at times. Yeah, I don't think he was dirty, though. No, no. He wasn't scared to rub elbows with you, for sure, right. but... I mean, he's never he, dirty. He's nicknamed the junkyard dog, so, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Nobody likes a junkyard dog. No. The kick old him. mangy dog living yeah. in a junkyard. Got to so, kick him. Uh, there's, he, what does Pashawn understand right there? The, the like guy. about every sixth word. <laughs> uh, 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 well, how you say? Pro circuit? Uh, uh, it's very good. <laughs> uh, your hairline is going, how you say, backwards up there? I look at it. <laughs> and, and the girl behind me, she's got the big hair. Uh, has a girlfriend, otherwise I would take her to my hotel and I would show her mon et toi with <laughs> one of my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's the opening standings. Um, no shocker, they mirror the top five in this race. Yeah, stunning. Fans going crazy in Orlando. Looks like chili. And Citrus Bowl. I'd call that place the Crap Bowl. Not a good <laughs> crap area. Bowl. It is. It's really rough. Yeah, we went back there a couple of years ago. Mm. I don't know if you were there or not. but Yeah, not good. Um, so that was 125 main. 250 main comes up. Uh, this is MC's wheelhouse still, 96. Um, there he is. Super Mac, the king, whatever you want to call yeah, him. He pretty much dominated. And everybody on the line right now on this parade lap knows he is going to own them. Except Including the- Bradshaw right there. Right, Bradshaw. Oh, I was man, very I excited when Bradshaw about that. came back. I was very excited. When There's Albie going, back. oh, my gosh, I'm going to crash right here and then right here probably. <laughs> oh, I could probably you crash You actually here. don't know how right you are, my <laughs> friend. Wait till you see this. <laughs> you don't know how right you are. I love uh, Albie. Uh, uh, he was a crasher. There we go. There's the Orlando Supercross Pass winners. I'm sure LaRocco celebrated very happily after those two wins. How did, how did LaRocco sound after he won in 93? Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I'm really happy. Um, I'm going to go do motos on tomorrow morning and get ready for outdoors. Um, look at Gene Numack. Yep. Look at this lineup. Yogi, Big Bird, Kyle Lewis, who we just saw in one of your 1990 Super Motocross magazines. Yeah, Swingster. Swingster was a good dude. I hung out with him a little bit this year. Hung out with Jeff Willow and Swink at Jeff Glass's house. Willow drank so much moonshine, 
he was on his side throwing up and couldn't move. And I thought he was going to be like, die like <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. I was like, is this how Jimi Hendrix died? Because he had drank so much moonshine from Jeff Glass's house. Do you remember how bad those factory Hondas used to be? Like, you oh, just yeah. sat outside the yeah. pits looking at them going, wow. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, there wasn't much much better. Uh, this is the first year Cowie went to that flow green. Very jealous. I really love that flow green. Mm. I mean, don't think that I didn't take my privateer Kawasaki and try to get the paint code and take it to powder coaters across America. Mm-hmm. Um, there's Damon Hoffman. He was going to be the next big thing. Um, Brian Lunas, next big jerk, apparently, from everybody that I talked to. Really? Me. Nobody yeah. liked him? Yeah, I always thought he was an all right guy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, looks like it's chilly in Orlando. Mm. Mm. Um, Jimmy Button, there he goes, number 100. Wyndham. Was that Wyndham? I don't know. The 38 on the yeah, factory Yamaha. He did some he did uh, coast. East Coast four, 250 rounds. And again, he was uh, he was doing these rounds and like finishing top five, and then he'd go ride 125. Yeah. Not fair. No. And he's still fast. Um, Phil Lawrence, Denny Stevenson, Buddy Antonis, all Great Western Bank. Yep. Kawasaki, well-funded team. Look at all of them in the main event here, too. Yeah. Who's number nine? Uh, Mike Brown. Mm. Downtown Mike Brown. Mm -hmm. On the Honda Troy, which was kind of a powerhouse team. Ward, Swink, Mike Brown, Mike Craig. Uh, Yeah, that was back when Honda Troy was... At its peak, but right before it switched to Yamaha, right? Yeah, I don't know when they switched to Yamaha. 97, 98? 98, they were Yamaha for sure. Anyways. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyways. It was 90. It might have been 97. Right. There's Fro Daddy. Fro Daddy's going, okay, if I can just get a whole shot, maybe I can hold him up. <laughs> for 20 laps, I can weave around the track. Was Fro really that bad, though? Like, I mean, the, re- the reputation is there, but. He I was know actually just really, him. he was really good at not letting anything rattle him you know when you're behind him it just he just ride the he just get wide he just ride the main line and yeah make you really go around him all right the gate is dropped for in, rolling into the first turn roaring into the first turn uh who do we got oh jerry mcgrath downtown oh, mike brown Oh, mike brown sneaks to the inside Ooh, just about took him out that was dirty though mc stopping like that okay <clears throat> so now it's it's probably over pretty much done Look at Brown. No, that ain't happening. Yeah. Well, Mike Brown's putting in a little bit of a, a little bit of battle here. Jeremy had a, uh, he had it dialed back then. He he really wasn't the most fit guy either. He would do, oh, Bradshaw like eight fast trip. laps. Mm-hmm. How did Bradshaw not jump that? I don't know. He should have. He would have been in second right that now. That was ridiculous. Anyway, so and by, a guy nicknamed the Wild Child. He's now been passed by. Uh, I don't know who that is. Factory Phil Lawrence back there in about sixth, fifth or sixth. It always seemed like Phil, when he had a good ride, he couldn't come through. But then when he had everybody counting him out, he did good. <sighs> well, Phil let uh, Phil let a lot of you know this year they these guys got to all the races on Castillo's private jet. Yeah, you know they they basically had it better than factory riders. Right, and. uh so when Phil started having some success this year, I think he kind of let things get out of hand, started hanging out with Fro, partying like uh-huh. it was 1999. It was really only 96. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never party three years in the future. No. Never. Like right now, if you were to party like it was 2013, such a bad idea. Yeah, downhill, going mm. downhill. Uh, MC was uh, on another level for sure. He, he almost he was scrubbing before James started scrubbing. You know, he's staying so much lower yep. than everybody. It was kind of weird how he would do that. He wouldn't scrub, but he would still stay much lower. What was he doing? Was he like preloading. Uh, it was it? just bicycle stuff. He was riding like you'd ride a bicycle. Right. You know, in BMX, you want to stay on the ground. Like guys will sometimes not even let their wheels come off the ground off jumps. Yeah. And I think he just sort of applied some of that. And it wasn't really scrubbing. It was just sort of minimizing and. Here's a. You know, one of the whack jobs of the sport all time, Mike Craig. Yeah. Number 17. Yep. I don't know if I should really say that, but uh, it's true. Crazy talented. Yeah. Mentally unstable. Um, really, um, mm. can we say horny? Can we say perverted? Like, can perverted? you say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, like just, like just kind of one of those dudes that you were just like, what are you doing? 
Yeah, he was definitely. Man, his son now rides for you, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> not for me. Not for you, but uh, look at Bradshaw. S- son's definitely got some of the daddy's instincts on a bike and otherwise. And now training with Rhino. Oh, so, nice. Uh, when I like that combo. When you're mentally not solid, who do you go to? <laughs> I go to Rhino. The Rhino. <laughs> um, anyways, look at Bradshaw. Uh, I was disappointed in Bradshaw's comeback. I was a big Bradshaw fan and uh, loved him and hated and loved his attitude. And when he came back, I was like, it's on. Hey, MC, that sound you hear? That's McGrath getting into your head. You mean Bradshaw? No, hey, MC. That sound you hear is Bradshaw. You just said McGrath. Did I? Yeah. Okay. That sound you hear is Bradshaw coming in your head, and he's going to come in your house, and he's going to show you what's up. He's going to put his penis on your cheek. <laughs> he's going to teabag you. <laughs> he's going to teabag you. Just sit you. it there for a while. Yeah, he's going to teabag you, MC, every weekend. It didn't happen, though. Yeah, what happened? Just He just kind of missed the window, huh? Yeah. I think At this point, he was just like a little old and over it. Yeah. Like, I don't think if you – like, Kurdowski's comeback didn't work. Mark Barnett's comeback in the 89 didn't work. If you just sit out, you're done. It's not going to work. Yeah. You know? So I just don't think it's a, it's a good idea. But I was kind of bummed as a fan that Bradshaw couldn't recapture the magic. Funny story about Factory Phil's bike this year, uh, which is all pro circuit parts. His mechanic – look how big that front fender looks too, by the way. Yeah. Massive. Banana hammock. His, uh, his mechanic is Dave Feeney, who's now uh, – what is Dave doing? He was Dave's a Suzuki back at pro circuit. Oh, is he? Yeah. He was his mechanic, and uh, first day on the job, they're testing pipes out of the Cowie track, and Phil hits a triple, and his pipe falls off <laughs> midair. Come on. <laughs> yeah, David forgot to tie it down. and that's, I still give Dave pipe a hard falls time. Off. Pipe falls off. Midair just drops Not, off the bike. Like the right. bomb bay doors open up, right. and it <laughs> – Falls off <laughs> mid-flight. Oh man! Okay, Bradshaw. Oh, oh br- two good old boys. Yep, a lot of moonshine. Just That's the Bradshaw that you want to yep. see right there. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm surprised McCarty took Bradshaw back after signing, you know, a three-year deal worth you know million dollars at the time, and then just quit. Lost championship, quit. Mm. I'm surprised McCarty took him back too, but he did. Uh, but he wasn't able, unable to capture the magic. How how big of a deal is this that Factory Phil, as a privateer, I mean that bike's got right. nothing f- works on it. It's yeah. he told me they actually ran just a stock engine because the other stuff they tried they didn't like as well. Really, stock engine with you know like a different reeds and exhaust and whatever. <laughs> how bad is that mechanic in the background? Got a mullet. Yeah, he's rocking it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, look at Phil. Yeah, and I know he's hesitating to pass Damon right now because he loves Damon. Look at Bradshaw not doing the triple again. Yeah, he's old. He should just quit. Oh, but he ain't giving Phil that spot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at no, yeah, Lawrence was uh, he was good this year, man. When hey, he he's underrated because uh, there was a year he wrote, the last year he rode for Factory Suzuki, so that would have been like ninety four. I don't know. Yeah, around then. He did some four fifty nationals. He rode, I think he rode the whole national series on a 450, and he beat, dude, he got on podiums a on the 250. Right. Glenn Hill in 93, podium in the 250 class. Yeah. Um, passed, I watched him pass Jeff Stanton at Gainesville that same year on a 250. Really? That's a big deal. He just passed Bradshaw. He's about to get second to McGrath here. Yeah, yeah. Sorry yeah. if I just blew this race for you, but <laughs> that's what's coming, no, yeah. folks. Uh, um, underrated, right? Like, just couldn't focus, though. Couldn't, couldn't, well, couldn't he was, ride, couldn't he train. Was, uh, he was, he he was very, very committed to whatever it was he was committed to. Right here, this year, it was racing. And then <laughs> the next Six co- months from now, <laughs> it, it became was drinking and Captain Morgan's and vagina. But, and then he was very committed to that. Yes. I mean, just very committed. Right. Which was sad for his career. And then he would maybe shape up and get committed to racing again or what, you know what I mean? Like, he, like I said, he seemed to have every second or year, third year, yeah, like, look it, at Phil. It never really came back after this. He, was that it? Yeah, so <laughs> this year was really it. But he finished, I want to say, third and the fourth in this series, which was really yeah, good. Yeah, that yeah. was really good. Yeah, for no, absolutely. Um, this year got him a chaparral rod the next year, which mm-hmm. he probably shit the bed in with. Him yeah. and Button both got picked up by yeah. chaparral. Yeah. They were 16, 12 and 6, 18. Was this 12. the year Rhino blew his jaw up? I don't made know. Made his eye go crazy? Doesn't he have a lot of those years? Yeah. 
Um, I know Rhino was obviously Factory Cowie then with Huffman and with um, Emig, but I don't remember what Rhino did. I think when. it was Charlotte. He cased a big jump and just blew his face to pieces on the crossbar pad. <laughs> blew his face to pieces. Yeah, like there's a big battle going on behind Phil. Mm. Oh, we got a lapper. That's New Mac, number 800, stopping on the track. Uh, Craig was really fast and talented there at 17 on the Honda Troy, just to, you know, whatever, one of those things. Look at the track, though. Kind of kind of a simple track, huh? Like You know, it's weird. You look back, and they all kind of look that way. Yeah. When you look, you could look back into the 80s, and you go, how Although, stupid is this track? the 99 mini race we did on Classic Commentary was a pretty good track. That's true. That was a good track. It was three years later after this. You know, they get, they got, like, right around then, 99, 2000, 2001, they were making tracks gnarly. Right. I think they kind of got to a point, like, they were making whoops bigger and bigger and bigger, and then I think they got to a point where they figured they were either hurting people or whatever, and mm-hmm. kind of started backing them off, and they went back to, like, really small whoops, you know, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. No, they did. Well, apparently, that, oh. a lot of that was because of Ricky was saying that he couldn't get through them, and so they were making oh. them smaller. Well, there know. you go. That's what I'd heard through the grapevine. But um, these guys here, notice how you haven't even seen McGrath. They haven't <laughs> no. focused on Air, James and Jeremy, like, which is good. There's, no, there's racing going on behind him, you know? But he's probably in. Uh, Dino. Dean Gibson. This is the, new, the Honda guy now. Does all the uh, 250 development there. Yeah. Um, Bald is William Shatner under that hat. <laughs> Even back then, probably. Even back right? then, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Dino Bambino from San Bernardino. That's right. Your mechanic at FMF He was my Honda. mechanic for two, at two different years. Uh, Moto World in 03, and then, yeah, also FMF Honda in 98. I Good dude. Nobody really talks about your Moto World years. And there was nothing to talk about. A lot of people don't remember you rode for Moto World. That's just fine. <laughs> That's just fine. <laughs> that season was great. rugged. Um, were you on that KXRM 250? No. We were the last 125 okay. standouts, that, holdouts, that whatever. And, yeah, uh, yeah. So you were on an RM125. Yeah, against everybody riding a 250, and it was just We all know how that rough. went. Yeah. Uh, Huff Daddy, later on this year, Seattle 96, like you said, the one you couldn't jump the triple, mm-hmm. battled McGrath to a standstill. He lost, but. Yeah, he did. He was all over MC, which at the time, again, this is, you got to remember, folks, nobody could even come within – you know, 30 seconds of Jeremy. Yeah, and so, you watch him ride here, and he's just got a great style. Up, yeah. Definitely flows. He's straight off of two 125 Supercross titles in a row. So, um, Watching him and Rhino ride right now, kind of a juxtaposition mm-hmm. of styles. Rhino's very angry right now. Yes. Very, <laughs> very angry. Arms are pumped up rock solid. <laughs> uh, look if he's like watching this now, he'd be like, oh, why didn't I – Unlock my hips. Unlock my hips. That's what he always says now. Oh, it's unlock. It's that, all in the hips, dude. The I hips? swear it's like a Happy Gilmore commercial. <laughs> no, my back's all rounded out. I gotta yeah. unlock my hips, yeah. man. Yeah, Th- that's that's gonna be the big secret. <laughs> Unlocking the hips. Yeah. Um. I don't know if Gary Bailey thinks about unlocking the hips. Uh, uh, I don't know. Gary uh, Bailey liked to unlock his legs at Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, I just set you up right there. I set the pins up. I was waiting. I was waiting. Um, who's 22? Is Bud that Man. Bud Man? Or yeah. is that Denny? No, nah, it's Bud Man. Okay. Poor little Bud Man. Um, he ripped on a 125 outdoors this year. He that did. That same year, 96. Oh, Very fast. He was Huffman's like third, I think. Fourth. Uh, no. Huffman sticks it in on Rhino. Rhino gets him back. Good battle right here. Where's Albie? I thought you said he was going to be laid out on a yeah, stretcher no, somewhere. Yeah, no, I think that's coming. I oh. believe that's coming. Um We'll see here. Not a lot of action in this one I picked. Uh, look at the fans standing up going wild. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're, they look Just like kidding. they're four miles away from the track. I, uh, I'm i pretty sure. Honda Cub in the background. Anybody see that? Yeah, I saw that. Those Ancient are good. history. Those are great. I, ever, I wanted one so bad when I was a kid. Oh, Huffy's got it right here. Yeah. Oh, Rhino. Very upset. I noticed yeah. Rhino's casing a lot of stuff with his. He's clipping his front end on a lot of the doubles on the landings, and Huffy's. Smooth as silk. Yeah. Rhino tries to go through the jumps. <laughs> There's nice. Denny, the 2-4. Oh, yeah, okay. That's right. I got Get your that. lappers straight. <laughs> the Great Western <laughs> Bank team. Go, Phil. <laughs> Phil, you are our guys. You are our guys. Um, did you 
Did you ever, ever race the 250 on the opposite coast? Yeah, I did then? a couple. I did 90. Uh, what year was it? 95. I don't I think remember it was. any of that. I did Indianapolis. Okay. Made the main. Look at rookie. Is oh, that yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, that is rookie. <laughs> Working for Brooks. Um, Later on, he got fired. Did he? For everybody swapping bikes. Oh, geez. At Chad Watts' house. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't remember you ever racing a 250. Yeah, I did Indianapolis 95. So it'd be a split fire. That was. What, do you remember like, the night Rhino? He got like a third. No, I don't. On remember. the 250. Yeah, 95. He did really well. I got. I didn't do that good, but you made the main. Made the main, obviously. yeah. And I think yeah, I did yeah. like 14th or something. I mean, wasn't right. great. Then I did Daytona that year, and I was running uh, inside the top 10. Oh, Daytona, nothing like. <laughs> broke a chain. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you were top 10. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that's the wrong way. I just no. I almost won Daytona in '97. You don't remember that? 97. Your boy Red Dog passed me last lap. Him really? And, him and Dowdy. Oh, the crowd went nuts. Oh, you got passed twice. Well, I was tired. Well, the race <laughs> was. That was when it was still Daytona. Traditional Daytona. It was day. the middle of the day. It was yep. a long lap time, and yeah. fifteen laps was like twenty five minutes. Yeah, no, that 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 is that is really long. You're absolutely right about that. Look at Huffy. Uh, he just got my Craig. Yes, he did. Um, which is you know again Look at that concrete coming up. Huffy's coming on, man. Oh, and in another time zone, Jeremy McGrath out front. Oh, here it comes Albie. Don't oh. let me down. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, what? Okay, so Albie would have came up and charged past Rhino. Oh, flat over jumped that thing just a little, <laughs> just then, a little. Hang on. Oh. Um, no, 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 no. He was uh, kind of scary in Supercross, Albie. He did win the Coliseum somehow. He, he sure won did. that opening race. Remember, it was he opening sure race did. of the year. Yep. I don't know how he did that. Supercross was not his cup of tea. Mike Craig is way back now. Craig is tired. He is. Uh, he's probably the only guy. More tired than uh, well, pelvic thrusts don't exactly count as training, so this is the problem. <laughs> this is where it uh, it all went wrong for Mike Craig. <laughs> I uh, I can't believe that Albie got Rhino though. I always thought Rhino was in pretty good shape and you know, kind of nah, much better pump. than Rhino. Arm pump, arm pump, oh, yeah, yeah, that was always what it was. <laughs> um, that is a long whoop section, but it's uh, it's it, last lap, maybe it doesn't happen. Albie, there's no way Albie keeps it on two wheels, is there? Dude, I could have swore there's he did. Big didn't. Bird, where's he? Go? Where's he at? Whammo! Oh, big collision between oh. Craig and Rhino. Oh, it's Craig. I thought it was Larry Ward. Rhino. Uh, chances that Rhino went back to the pits and beat up Mike Craig. I would say seventy to eighty percent chance of that. Yeah, that he went into the semi. And Although tried I don't think he could actually beat up Mike Craig, but he would try, yell at him, pretend like he was gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Super Mac. I didn't even see him. No, nah, he's just riding around. Yeah. Eight fast laps and then 12 yeah. parade laps. <laughs> some knack knacks. Some knack knacks, some Nicky knocks, little <laughs> points to the crowd. Back to the river, thinking about his river reservations. Yep. There we go. MC wins the opener. At, oh, how uh, quick can I get to Havasu Landing and get hammered? <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Wins the opener, dominates it. And I must have been mistaken, uh, ping on the Alby crash. I have a race where Albie eats crap and some whoops. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you I, do. I thought that this, that would have been it. I thought this one was it. I uh, <laughs> and Phil with the second, and they're buddies, right? Yeah. So I mean, yeah. They're hey, see you at Havasu. <laughs> yeah, right? pretty much. Yeah. Beer bonks for everybody, bro. <laughs> um, and good night of racing in Orlando at the Crap Bowl. The Crap Bowl, the Texas Chili Bowl. You gotta love the uh, Mike Morocco. I never even saw him on. Nope, never, never even, even never even saw him. Got fifth somehow. Uh, Bradshaw gets third. I remember the next weekend after this, Minneapolis, Bradshaw got second. To whom? To MC. And Bradshaw was second in the points, and as a fan, it was on. Mm. But then... Wheels fell off. Yeah, yeah, and then it wasn't on anymore. Mm. So... Um, yeah, that's what you need to get is one of those uh, East-West shootouts rounds. Like one of the Texas rounds from this era. Uh-huh. I, uh huh. I I did ninety, I did ninety seven East West with Jeremy Albrecht. Yep. Ricky and Wyndham. Ricky ends up crying. Mm. Crashes eighteen times. Yep. Uh, very interesting race. Very good race. And Jer and and Emma clinches the title that night. Look at Factory. What a lady killer. Yeah, you know, I just put my head down, freaking pinned it past Bradshaw. Yeah, dude. Sick. Going to the river. <laughs> 
<laughs> <laughs> You've been around him way too much. That's my brother-in-law. What am I going to say? It is your brother-in-law. <laughs> no, I guarantee you right now he's stoked he beat Damon Bradshaw. That's his hero. That would be weird to be standing there next to Jeremy and Damon Bradshaw. And Bradshaw's on the other end, but Bradshaw's <laughs> yeah. mad at you probably. He wants to kick your ass. Well, for sure he does, yeah, but yeah. it's all right. Hey, and uh, um, also who's, who's the trophy girl there? I don't know. Guarantee My MC. guess is, yep. Knack, knack her later. She's pretty much. Uh, how much did you hang out with these guys back then? Um, Were you into that? Into the scene or no? I, I would go riding you with them. I didn't really Montana. get to hang out with them. Um, but like, you know, they'd all go riding together and I was living with Phil at the time. So, oh, you were? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they'd bring this 125 guy along with him. Yep. It was awesome. The places we got to ride and just, you know, being able to watch those guys and stuff definitely helped and you, me. Good for you though, to gauge yourself, Heck try to yeah. get better. Yeah. Right. Where would you ride? Where would you, was there Cowie track in existence then? Cowie track. Okay, yep. So, yeah. so I'd go there with Phil and then, but Jeremy had a track at his parents' house, you know, and it was, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was really good. We'd, he'd let us come out there once in a while and. The big thing was when it rained, we'd go yeah. out in the hills, and just there was awesome places to ride. Factory Cowie let Phil ride on the track? Yeah. Even though it was a complete privateer and all yeah. that? Like, it was, yep. it was cool? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Because back then, there wasn't all the teams. You know, it was Pro Circuit, two yeah. Factory Cowie guys, and that was it. So, for them to let a few more guys out there wasn't a big deal. Yeah, where nowadays, it's a little different. Like, yeah. You, you don't get a lot of Well, now, if you're Yamaha, you've got 14 And that different... is a sweet stash. Yeah, it is. I wonder what he's saying right now. Well, you know, third place sucks. I'm just trying to get better. Where's Bale? <laughs> I'm beat the crap out of him. <laughs> the beast. Um, do you remember the beast getting into it with James Eichel and the next year after this in the nope. pits in St. Louis? Nope. Threw a boot at him. Eichel threw a boot at him. A Tech 10 or a Tech oh, 8. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I don't think they had Tech 10s back yeah, then. Yeah, Tech 8. Threw a Tech 8 at him because uh, he got in Bradshaw's way and Bradshaw cursed him out. Hmm. You don't curse out James Eichel. No? No, no. I don't know, James. I oh, it's well, on. So. Yeah. Anyways, it's good times. Look at oh, those. Jeremy fans took her Supercross. home. Jer and probably Jeremy her took sister. That one home yep. And the other one home. Not the one in the blue. Didn't jump on that grenade, but. <laughs> uh, what a night in Orlando's crap bowl. Could that girl pull 96. her shorts up any higher? Did anybody see that? Know. What Spy year goggles. is this? Jeremy switching from Oakley. Big deal back in the day. Yeah, it was a big deal. Look how high she's got that skirt. Yeah. Wow. Master belly button. Weird. Um, what do you I'm think gonna, Jeremy was getting paid to win a race back then? Hundred thousand dollars, I heard. Back then? Yep, hundred grand still back then. Mm. Probably for wins only. Yeah, who knows, huh? Well, uh, this has been Pulp MX Classic Commentary '96 Orlando Crap Bowl. I'm Steve Mathis. With me is. <laughs> is it really Pelicans? They got Pelicans up there. <laughs> they do. <laughs> hey, Pink. No, that's not a Pelican. It's a flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> whatever pink flamingo you're from montana i'm from canada we don't <laughs> we don't know that yeah hey, it's a canadian goose eh oh there's pink jack one. there's jack yep soaking up the credit was jack like that oh yeah oh yeah it was always we it was, it was? we we did we kicked ass tonight man oh i didn't know that i saw larry myers back there uh, hey, Pink, thanks for, uh, thanks for doing this, man, and the, I'm sure the fans will like it. Uh, we talked, again, we didn't talk much about the racing. Ah, that seems to be a trend. Yeah. It's we, all right. We need to get more on that. Uh, all right, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah.